men are dead following an alleged confrontation with the police in the vicinity of Raytown in Kingston on Sunday morning. The man had reportedly earlier held up and robbed the woman of her cellular phone and cash on East Queen Street in the parish. Our focus at the moment has been on gunmen, guns, and gangs. We are going to continue that focus because this is at the heart of the biggest problem that this country faces. More than a year after making controversial utterances which suggested that police officers should fire back if they are engaged by gunmen, Deputy Prime Minister and National Security Minister Dr. Horace Chong is maintaining his stance on the matter. In addressing Friday's annual LOSCO slash Jamaica Constabulary Force, JCF, Salute Our Heroes Award at AC Hotel in St. Andrew, Chong cited that there are police officers being shot at by gunmen at checkpoints. He seemingly suggested that any criminal who shoots at the police in that manner should not survive the encounter. The police are professionals on the road doing a routine job and you can only imagine the kind of mentality that would make a man ride up on a bike and look at a young Jamaican doing his duty and shoot and try to kill him, said Chan. My only reaction to that is, I say to the police here, anyone who does that or attempts to do that, the only time they should have left on this side of the surface is the time it takes to do the post-mortem examination, he added. To much applauses from the audience which included JCF members, the strident deputy prime minister said. And I don't apologize for saying it. Chong reminded the police officers that they have been trained and they have a standard operating policy of contact and cover. You, the police, make sure you're in that position all the time, he urged the law enforcers. In September of last year, Chong made headlines when he said police personnel should not miss when they respond to criminals who use deadly force to resist being arrested. The comments then were widely viewed as the minister suggesting that cops should shoot to kill criminals in gunfights. However, those words were never uttered by Chong. They, the police, not out there shooting down people like that. There are fatal shootings because men shoot gun after dem. I not telling police not to fire back, and to say it right here in Westmoreland, I not sending no ambulance out there either, declared Chong on September 15, 2022. He was then addressing a groundbreaking ceremony for a new from police station in Westmoreland. Anytime a man take up a gun after police, I expect the police commissioner to train the police, so they must not miss, he indicated then. Still, there were criticisms of Chang's remarks, with many suggesting that he used the term shoot to kill in his statement. Chief among them were the Independent Commission of Investigations, INDECOM, and some human rights groups, such as Jamaicans for Justice, JFJ. They all insisted that Chang's statement was seemingly suggesting that police officers should shoot to kill when confronted by armed criminals, and called for him to retract the comments. However, Chong later addressed a post-cabinet press briefing and did not double down or withdraw from his comments a week earlier. I don't think there was anything there to withdraw or to change. It was felt that the circumstance in which I said it would stimulate the police officers to take, maybe, unusual action. I don't think so, he stated last year. I think training of the police force is now adequate, strong, and is creating a force, not only for good but a highly disciplined operation, he said. In relation to armed confrontations, Chong maintained last year that while all citizens have a right to life, in a situation where the police and gunmen are in armed combat, the first right to life is relative to the law enforcers. In a combat situation, the first right to life, I think, is that of the policeman who is acting to protect himself and the wider society, Chong insisted. Added the minister at the time. I said if they, the police, are attacked by criminals, or policemen come under attack by criminals, they should return fire. The term I used was, fire back. It's a standard use of force policy anywhere on the globe. If you come under deadly attack, you are entitled to respond, Chong insisted last year. Five men were shot, two fatally, during a gun attack in Priory, St. N on Saturday night. The deceased are 38-year-old Nicholas Dobson of Priory and 42-year-old factory worker Dwight Harrison of Riverhead in Monique, both in St. Anne. 
The three injured males, including a teenager, remain hospitalized in serious conditions. Police reports are that about 8.25 p.m., several persons were near a popular eatery along the Priory Main Road when two men, one of whom was armed with a handgun, approached the location. The gunman opened fire, sending patrons scampering for cover. When the shooting subsided, the five men were found suffering from gunshot wounds. Harrison later succumbed to his injuries at the scene. The other four injured men were rushed to the hospital, where Dobson died while undergoing treatment, and the others were admitted. Investigators have launched a manhunt for the gunman who fled the scene in a waiting motor vehicle. No motive has yet been established for the gun attack.